may the Lord bless and keep you. We have to understand that cutting yourself is a demonic trait. It is not normal. It is extremely demonic. And we are going to find out in these Bible scriptures here that cutting yourself is demonic. It is not a way to release pain. It is a way to place you much more in bondage to demons. Let's go to Mark chapter 5, verses 1 through 17. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Verse 1. And they came over unto the other side of the sea and to the country of the Gadarens, if that is how you say it. <laughs> so Jesus and his disciples are coming to that country or came over to that country. Verse 2. And when he was come out of the ship, Jesus Christ, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. So when Jesus came out of the ship, a person with demons met with him out of the tombs. Verse 3. Who had his dwelling among the tombs. So there was a man living among the tombs. So can you see a person living around their graveyard? How crazy would that be? That is demonic. who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him. No, not with chains. So no one could control this person. No one could chain this person up. Verse 4. Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him and the fetters broken in pieces could neither could any man tame him so what this is saying when this demonic man was chained he would break the chains <laughs> which is not human so you have to know that is demonic by far. Verse 5. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself. Crying and cutting himself. Crying and cutting himself. Man, I can stop right here to prove my point. What type of human can break chains and no one can be able to control that person or to bind that person. So that is telling you this person is demonic. This person has demons. So when you go home and cut yourself and say to yourself, well, you know, no one loves me and everyone is treating me poorly, so let me be crazy and cut myself, you have demons. You have demons. When you are cutting yourself, you have demons. That is not normal. So if you see your child cutting themselves, that is not just a teenage thing because adults do it as well. It is demonic. So verse 5, in always night and day, 
he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. So you may say, Kevin, I don't have any demons. I cut myself because that is something I want to do. That is not normal. Is it a coincidence a person in the Bible that has many demons cutting himself, but you cut yourself and you say that you don't have demons, whatever. Verse 6. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. So let me check something right quick. Verse 2. Yes. Verse 6. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. So when he saw Jesus afar off, he worshipped him. Verse 7. And cried with a loud voice and said, and said, What have I do with thee, Jesus? Thou son of the most high God, I adore you, thee, by God, that thou torment me not. So who was speaking to Jesus? So we have to know that it is a demon speaking here. It is not the person that is speaking to Jesus. It is the demons that are speaking through that person to Jesus Christ. Verse 8. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. So Jesus is saying, Come out demons. Verse 9. And he asked him, What is thy name? So what is your name? So Jesus is asking the demon, Hey, or the demons, What is your name? And he answered, saying, my name is Legion, for we are many. So, <laughs> I can stop here, and this proves my point. This man was cutting himself because he has demons. But you say, Kevin, you are crazy. You don't know what you are talking about. I don't have demons. I am a normal person. Look, if you are cutting yourself, it is demonic. You have demons. Verse 10. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. So the demons are communicating through that man to Jesus Christ. So this person had so many demons that those demons were in full control of that man, which is crazy. Verse 10, or verse 11, excuse me. Now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. 12, and all the devils besought him, proving my point again, the demons had full control of that man. So when you are cutting yourself, cutting yourself, cutting yourself, cutting yourself, demons are controlling you. Well, Kevin, I believe I am in control of myself. Look, cutting yourself is not normal. It is not normal. It is not normal. Okay. Verse 12, and all the devils besought him, saying, send us into the swine, the pigs, that we may enter into them. So pretty much the devils or the demons are saying, since you are going to cast us out anyway, hey, let us go into these pigs. 13, and forthwith, Jesus gave them leave, and the unclean spirits the demons went out and entered into the swine. 
and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. They were about 2,000 and were choked in the sea. So Jesus told the demons, hey, leave this man. And Jesus Christ allowed the demons to enter into the pigs. So once the demons entered into the pigs, they ran off a cliff, I guess, a steep place into the sea. So the demons went into the pigs and drowned the pigs. <laughs> so suicide is a sin too. So when you see a person saying, hey, Kevin, I am going to kill myself, you have a demon. You have demons. So if you are cutting yourself, you have demons. If you are contemplating and tried to kill yourself, you have demons. Okay. Should I read more? 15 or 14. And they that fed the swine fled and told it in the city and in the country. And they went out to see what it was that was done. So what this is saying, the people that fed the pigs ran out and told other people. Now all those people have came back to see what is going on. 15. And they came and they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind and they were afraid. So the people there knew how that possessed person was. So when they saw him acting right, acting like a human being, they were afraid. Let me stop here. Let me stop here. So I pray that this makes sense. Cutting yourself, you have a demon. Committing, contemplating, suicide, you have demons. So let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you share and subscribe. God bless you.